on Innerspace. Oh, I hit it! Yeah! I aim on learning the skills needed to survive a zombie apocalypse. Plus, as soon as I saw it, I knew right away it was a brand new species of dinosaur. I head to the ROM to investigate the discovery of a new dinosaur. And... What are you writing? Story of revenge. Am I in it? Blackbird star Alexia Fast joins us in studio to talk about her new film. Welcome back, everyone. A great new series called Into the Flesh, all about zombies, premieres next week on Space, and we thought, what better way to prepare for this deadly show than by getting some zombie survival training? That's right, and I took a trip to the zombie survival camp north of Toronto, which promised to teach me everything I would need to know to outwit, outlive, and outlast a zombie attack. Zombie Survival Camp brings camp to a whole new level of cool. Where did you guys come up with this idea? We started talking about zombies when we were in university together. This is almost 10 years ago now. We were sitting around drinking and strategizing and figuring out and arguing about, no, this is the best route or that's the best route. What can zombie survivalists expect this weekend? There's a whole range of survival skills all tailored for the zombie apocalypse. So we got archery, which is your sort of long range weapon for dealing with zombies. We've got machetes. Um, so one of the guys is trained in a machete martial art, so he's adapted that specifically for zombies. And also your basic survival skills, how to build a shelter, how to create a fire. If you get chased out into the woods, you, know, you want to be able to survive the night. So for a beginner survivalist like myself, what should I be prepared for when I come here? I would say that you have to be open-minded, um, be willing to get, get dirty, so just come eager to learn. Ah! Ah! I came dressed for the part and ready to survive. First up, archery. All right, and we're pointing at the center. Okay. So one thing that people always overlook is that uh, ammunition is finite, so you can run out of bullets, right? They don't think about things like noise. Zombies are attracted to noise because they're just sort of simple creatures, right? So every okay, time you good, fire good. off, Makes sense. more zombies, which is bad. Archery, quiet. You can shoot zombies from a distance, so it's safe. And also, you can retrieve your ammunition. Oh, I hit it! Yeah! Okay, so I needed a little more practice with the bow and arrow, but now for the fun part, weapons training. Ugh. So are you teaching survivalists that anything can kind of be a weapon? Uh, exactly, I'm, I am teaching um, basic uh, sort of um, uh, maneuvers using footwork, incorporating footwork along with maneuvers with weapons, various types. Anything can really be a weapon, uh, and they usually fall into three categories. There's short range, medium range, and long range. Well, after I got the footwork down. But if you imagine, there's your hand. Okay, right? so I want to do. You want to get out of the way, boom. I had the chance to give every weapon a try on Zach, our fake zombie head. There you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, or you are finished. <laughs> but I have to say, hands down, favorite weapon was the machete. Boom, now it's your turn to the neck, exactly. All right. Just don't cut my head off. I know. <laughs> yeah. But there was still one skill needed that I didn't even think about. I think it's a mistake to think that you should just learn how to fight them, right? You want to outlive them. Uh, so shelter is a key component of that. If it were raining and 10 degrees out, you'd have an hour to live before you got hypothermia. So you always hear about it, people die of exposure in the woods. It's usually because they get wet and it's a little bit cold. So we're going to be preventing that okay. by learning a basic debris shelter. So all it is, just like the name says, is essentially a pile of debris. Um, you're going to need a strong backbone, so we've got somebody who's actually started one here. So what we're going to do is take sticks from all around us, okay. starting with the largest at this end. We're going to pile them up on both sides and create kind of a tent-like structure. Awesome. And AJ Teddy, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I can provide for us. Just saying. Going home to bed. 
Are you intimidated by my machete skills? Oh, I'm excited that we <laughs> yeah. have somebody to defend us in the event of a zombie apocalypse, because AJ and I otherwise would be the first to go. Yeah. One, it's two. Okay. I'm good at zombie computer games, but <laughs> <laughs> probably very I would different. show you the ropes, guys. You would be left for dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. uh, no, this this was such an amazing place. All the experts there, everyone was so welcoming. Well, and Dom is my good friend. That he, was really is cool he? to see him. Yeah, yeah, we hang out. He helped me move. Oh. I, hope, I hope he still likes me, because, you know, when I was going after a fake zombie Zach with a machete, I did kind of hurt his hand a little bit. And you so, hurt Dom? I'm Sorry, I just a little bit, but he he then wouldn't give me a real machete because there are real real weapons once you get used to weaponry wow. and I wasn't allowed. And just quickly, so what happens here? Do they have fake zombies come and, and fake attack people? Right. So on the Saturday, you learn, you know, all your skills. And then on Sunday, they dress up as zombies and simulate wow. the zombie apocalypse. And you have to kind of show off your skills and, and, and survive. That sounds like a lot of fun, but I wouldn't involve Woody Harrelson. Remember that time that he attacked a reporter after filming Zombieland? He was like, I thought it was a oh. zombie. <laughs> oh. Oh, he may have been. I don't know why been, my mind went there, but may have been on something. Uh, ZombieSurvivalCamp.ca, get all the info. Uh, looks really fun. And that is our show for today and for the week.